Okay, uh, what I would like to do, let's uh, turn on this screencasting here. Okay, uh, first thing I'd like to do is something I keep forgetting to do in tutorials, and that's packaging the images. So let's choose this uh, plane here, which is our cursor, scroll down here, and package in that. And same with this button here, because I forgot to do those. Basically, that just embeds the image into the blend file, making the blend file bigger, um, but it makes it the blend file more portable. Today we're going to be working on a back button, a button that will hopefully, um, well, I'll show you. If we start the game up here, I can click menu, menu again, it goes back. I can hit escape and escape again, it goes back. But I'd like to have a button in here that you can say click on it and it goes back. So let's hit Q to get out of this, or we could have clicked exit in that. We're going to hit shift up arrow to jump 10 frames, so this is in our view here. And let's just grab and Z and move this down. So this exit button is at the bottom of the menu. Now, there's, we don't have to worry about the animation of this um, button because there is no animation of the button. It's parented to the menu, which has the animation. So it doesn't matter where we move that. It's always going to follow the menu. Next, we're going to hit spacebar, and we're going to type in import plane, uh, image as plane. Once again, if you didn't watch the earlier tutorials, this is an option um, that is installed but not enabled by default. You have to go up to File, User Preferences, and enable it. Make sure you watch earlier tutorials if you don't know how to do that. We're going to choose that. We're going to say, in this case, Shadeless Alpha Pre-Multiply, and I'm going to choose an image called Button Back PNG. Uh, you don't see it because it's in the background and it's laying flat, pointing up. So I'm going to say RX90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis. Axes, and um, then I hit Control Alt Q to go into uh, quad view. Z makes it easier for me to see where the menu is, and I can now grab this button and bring it right in front of the menu. I can hit Z to go back into wireframe mode, camera view, and there's our back button. I'm going to scale it up, grab it, and move it here. Going to scale it up a little bit more. And I'm going to quickly save the game at this point. Uh, and I'm also, with that object selected, I'm going to apply rotation and scale. Just so we don't get anything funky things happening later. Now, with that button selected, I'm going to shift select the menu, control P, and parent the object. So now, if we shift down arrow and start the game, uh, let's make sure that we are in textured mode. There we go. Um, I can click the menu here, and the menu comes in, click menu again, it goes out, click menu. Hmm, that was a little bit of a glitch there. Seems to be working fine now, maybe I just didn't give it enough time. So basically, oh, we also need do need to animate it so that it grows like that, I forgot about that. Um, so basically we need to shrink it down. Let's do that before we program the button. So let's just say Q to exit out of that. Shift up arrow. And um, with that button selected, I'm going to hit I and set a keyframe for the scaling. I'm going to hit shift down arrow. You can see it up here still. I'm going to scale it down a little bit. I'm going to say I to set a keyframe there. And then we're going to set an option here. So with that selected, I'm going to hover over our logic editor here and hit control up to make it full screen just so it's easier for you guys to see. And I'm going to say when mouse is over the button, connect that to that. We are going to say action, connect to this. This is like the old IPO editor. I think it was also called F curve in 2.5. It's now called action. Um, I'm going to choose our back button and we are going to say animate from frame zero to frame 11. Um, and we want this to either ping pong or flip, but let's try flipper first. So now with that, I can go here, bring that menu in. Yes, it is flipper. So it hovers, so now we got buttons that change size. Uh, and now we just need it so that when we click this, it does that. There was that glitch again. I need to figure out, uh, it seems like every once in a while. Okay. 
Um, I'll look into that. It seems like uh, every maybe tenth click, yeah, the menu does that. It doesn't zoom out. It zooms back in. Not a huge deal, but it's definitely something we want to take care of in the future. Um, but we'll click. We want to be able to click that and have the menu go back like that. So cue to get out of that at this point. And we'll hit. Sh well, we don't have to hit shift up. We already have that. We have that button selected. You can see about the texture there. And down here it says back button one or button back dot png. So now we're going to hit um, control up arrow here again. We will minimize this, minimize this, minimize that as well. Now we're going to say when the mouse is over and the mouse left button click. So we're going to add another little uh, controller here, connect these two. We are now going to uh, control down arrow. Let's shift select the menu there, control up here. So here is the menu here, and you can see there's an action right now for it to ping pong. Uh, we're actually going to, uh, well, let's just try connecting to that and see how it works. Boom. So we've got for our back button PNG, we've got uh, when the mouse is over and the mouse left button click, so it connect to that, we're going to continue this ping pong. So let's uh, go here, press play, P. We will click here, and it seems to be working. Oh, uh, oh. I must have hit escape. We are getting a little bit of a glitch here. Oh, let's see. So it doesn't like me connecting that button there, it seems to. Let me see something. Let me just hit escape a few times. I think it, the problem is sometimes I'm hitting escape before the animation is complete. No, I definitely gave it enough time. I think. Hmm. Menu. Menu, 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 menu's working. Back. Oh. I think the problem there is when I click back, the menu starts moving, and I haven't let go of the button in time, and the exit button's getting clicked as it's moving up. Huh. That's a interesting dilemma there. I guess a simple fix for now. <laughs> although we might be able to come up with a better solution later on, would be to flip-flop these buttons. Put this one down here, and move this one up here. And now, I won't accidentally click exit. Hmm. Menu. I like this little penguin right here that's just jumping. Maybe having multiple buttons that uh, do this is not a good idea. I'm pressing escape now. Pressing menu now. Pressing back. Definitely seems to be a little bit of a sporadic glitch. And it seems to be maybe when I'm going back and forth from using one to another. So it's functional, but definitely needs some work. Um, it's not, it's definitely going to be something I take care of in the future, but probably not for a few more tutorials because there's other things I want to accomplish, like starting the scoring. And worst case scenario, I remove the back button and only have the menu button do anything. Um, but I would like to get this glitch taken care of. Yeah. Not the end of the world at this point. But we're moving along. Thank you for watching this tutorial uh, that semi works. <laughs> and uh, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, filmsbychris.com forward slash POP for more information on this pop project. And I hope that you have. A great day.